Hi, question number four. The polynomial fx is defined by fx is equal to 12x cubed plus 25x squared minus 4x minus 12. We need to show that f minus 2 is equal to 0 and factorize fx completely. Okay, so here we are. We need to show that f minus 2 is 0. So f minus 2 is going to be then 12 times minus 2 to the cube plus 25 times minus 2 to the square minus 4 times minus 2 minus 12 so let's work this out in the calculator 12 times um, minus 2 to the cube that's going to give us minus 96 also um, 25 times minus 2 to the square is 4 times 25 is 100 then minus times minus becomes plus and we have 8 minus 12 so minus 96 plus 4 is minus 96 plus 100 is 4 plus 8 minus 12 4 plus 8 is 12 12 minus 12 is 0 so f minus 2 has been shown to be equal to 0 here we are for the first part but also we need to factorize the expression completely to factorize this we're going to perform a long division so here we are we've got 12 x cubed plus 25x squared minus 4x minus 12 so we're going to be dividing by the factor f is minus 2 so uh, f of minus 2 that means x plus 2 is a factor therefore we're going to be dividing by x plus 2 12x cubed divided by x squared is 12x divided by x is 12x squared 12x squared times x is 12x cubed subtract that these two cancels out and you're going to end up with now 12 x square times 2 is 24 x square so 25 x square minus 24 x square is x square minus 4 x minus 12 x square over x is going to be x and therefore x times x is x square and you got x times 2 is plus 2 x you subtract that you're going to get minus 6x plus sorry minus 12 minus 6x of x is minus 6 minus 6 times x is minus 6x minus 6 times 2 is minus 12 subtract these you're going to end up with 0 so now where do we go from here we need to factorize this expression so this one here is going to be 12 which is then 4x times 3x and you got 6 therefore we're going to say um, 2 times 3 is 6 so I'm going to say 2 here 3 here so 4 times 2 is 8x 3 times 3x is 9x so take 9x 8x take away from 9x is going to be x and if we have x here so this one is confirmed so this is minus because we're taking away 8 so if this is minus this one is going to be minus so we have plus and therefore you got then the expression fx is going to be x plus 2 all right then you got 4x plus 3 then you got 3x minus 2 so that expression has been factorized completely now for the second part given also that uh, 12 times 27 to the power of y plus 25 times 9 to the power of y minus 4 times is equal to 0 state the value of 3 to the power of y and hence find y correct to three significant figures okay first of all what do we have is um, 12 times 27 to the power of y plus 25 times 9 to the power of y minus 4 times 3 to the power of y minus 12 is equal to 0 now from here we see that this is 3 power y this also can become 3 to the power of y so we get 25 times 3 to the power of y except that you can put this square outside because 3 to the square is 9 okay and uh, yeah and similarly we can go for this one as well 12 times 3 to the power of y with this one to the cube 3 to the cube is 27 so minus 4 times 3 to the power of y and then minus 12 is equal to 0. Now to state 3 to the power of the value of 3 to the power of y, this is cube. So that means 
if we take a value here, it can never be negative. Why? Because if you were to solve this, you're going to look for the logarithms of negative values, and that doesn't exist. So therefore, what are we going to do? So we have three values. x is equal to minus 2, x is equal to minus 3 over 4, and here x is equal to 2 thirds. So this one seems to be the most appropriate. Therefore we got x is equal to 2 over 3, meaning that um, 3 to the power of y is equal to 2 over 3. That's a positive value. This is what I was talking about. So we need to evaluate this to three significant figures. So let's do it. So y ln 3 is equal to ln 2 thirds. So y is equal to ln 2 thirds divided by ln 3. And that's going to give us from the calculator. So ln 2 thirds okay, divided by ln 3. It's going to give us minus 3. 0 decimal 369 0 decimal minus 0 decimal 369 so minus 0 decimal 369 here we are for the second part of the question and this is taken from June 2011 advanced level maths HSCP 3